wrapping up 2019, we'll help over 120 families uh, receive scholarships. Uh, we graduate about 25 to 30 people per, per year out of our program. Um, they average a 3.3 GPA, which is pretty fantastic considering they're going full-time and working full-time most times. We assist single moms and dads who are seeking a way out of poverty by increasing their education opportunities and their employment opportunities. Um, and it's beyond the financial support. Uh, the, the support staff we have here is getting people ready for positions, ready for jobs, ready to actually go to work day one after graduation. That includes resume building, that includes um, professional development. Uh, we have a small staff, but a dedicated staff of people that are really here to ensure the best for our recipients. And that's what motivates me to come to work every day. Lifestyles Inc., we work with individuals with disabilities in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, we are certified to work in Benton and Washington counties. Uh, we currently serve about 215 individuals in three major programs. Uh, our largest is called Supported Living, and that's where we prov provide one-on-one -on -one staffing in home uh, to, to the clients that we support. Uh, the second largest is probably now Adult Development, and it's a day program here at Lifestyles running from time of about 8.30 now to about 10 o'clock at night, um, Monday through Friday. Uh, we support a lot of individuals who do not have in-home benefits. And then our last uh, program or department is called Supported Employment, and that's where we help individuals find meaningful employment in the community and also pair them with a job coach to help them sustain the job and to, to work through any barriers that they may have on the job for, that may prevent them from making it success, successful. He was fun-loving, charismatic, just an awesome person to be around. Um, he, he had some internal issues. He, he suffered addiction um, for his, his late teens into his, all of his 20s. Um, the last five years of his life, he was sober. Um, he relapsed and it took him, um, but we don't have any, any records of them trying to revive him with naloxone, um, which is what my nonprofit's doing right now is we give naloxone to the community for free and we provide training so that they know in case of emergency how to, how to revive someone. We have reports of saving uh, three people so far. Um, we have given out over 800 kits to Northwest Arkansas. You know, the people that have a lot of direct involvement with um, people suffering with addiction, that's, I mean, the biggest, the, the biggest gratitudes that we get, um, you know, it's, it's a really heartfelt thing that's going on and, and people are, you know, grateful for it.